All right, hi everybody. In the last episode, we started implementing Block to handle the state of the application. We first created a qubit to handle the change of the image in this slide uh, sliver up bar. We can click this button now to change the image. Let's select some random image. Uh, so yeah, let's see a little bit of an overview of the qubit that we implemented in the last one. And then we're going to see what we are going to do in this one. So there is a lot of boilerplate in the qubit, but maybe Mainly we have a function that calls the pick image function of the image picker library or our package. I don't know how uh, it's called here in Flutter, but anyways, when the image is picked, we call the emit function that change the state of the qubit. We have a reset image that basically puts the, the state on a null. Uh, so how do we use this is first in the main uh, file of our application, we're going to have a multi-block provider that essentially uh, encapsulates all the app and we're going to give providers to this widget. Here we provide the image selected qubit that is this one as a qubit extends the block base. So it is a, a block and we can use it with all the block widgets. Then when we actually want to use it, we want to, let me find it here. We want from the context, read that type of the block. And in this variable, we can access the state value, or also we can send this qubit or run the function that we declare here. Then when we want the qubit to update a widget when the value changes, we need to use a block consumer. In the block consumer, we select uh, the type of the widget and the type of the value that it holds. I mean, the type of the qubit or block. And then here we can also read from the context and do something. The block consumer in particular has a listener attribute and a builder attribute. Both of them uh, need a, a function. The listener is going to execute first. We can check the data here. For example, if the state is null, we're going to show an error and we're going to reset the image. Uh, so it is all good. And then uh, finally, here in the builder, we build the widget that we want. We need to also read the qubit from the context here so we can have the, the value that is hold. Well, and, and that's it for the last episode. In this one, what we actually have right now is that if you click in one of these cards, the dialog of the selection of the image is going to pop up. You uh, need to select an image, so we're going to select uh, a random one. And then the image is selected and you can click again the sticker that you want. And this behavior might change in the future because if you select the previous one, you should get the uh, preview of that widget, but uh, I didn't find a, a correct way to do that yet. So in the future, I'm going to do that. But anyways, uh, what we're going to do now is when you click the uh, sticker, a new screen is going to appear with the different settings of that filter and a way of executing that. So we're going to work on that. I think uh, what I'm hoping is to have a, a running version of this by the end of this month and with the, the previous sticker that, that I had uh, and in the uh, Play Store so uh, people can can use it. Then in the next month, we're going to work on new filters and, and yeah, then we can see from there what we do. Okay, I'll see you in, in a couple of seconds when this is sort of uh, done or in a, in a good path. Okay, so I got the vanilla sticker to work. This is using the server that is already running from the current application that is in the store. So yeah, let's see the vanilla sticker working. So we click here, go to the gallery, we choose an image. We need to click again. I need to change this, but for now it is working like this. So then you go to the, it is called sticker maker page that gives you some options for the sticker. For example, here a soft edges, border white. Let's choose the first one. And the thing that I want to solve before making the rest of the, the stickers that the current application has this, this uh, issue is that when you click the make sticker, UI sort of uh, junks a little bit. That means that the thread that is handling the UI handles a big uh, function and doesn't render the UI quickly enough to update. So I'll show you and you're going to to know what happens. So we're going to click the max sticker. And as you can see, I can't, for a second there, I can't move the, the list view here. So I want to change that. And the way you're going to change that or resolve this 
is using the compute and a new isolate to uh, to handle the the function that is uh, junking the main thread. So first, let's see what the function is doing and why I think it's junking the the thread. So. First, uh, we have the request sticker function going to here. So basically this function sends the request to the server, decodes the image and returns the image in a byte format. And somewhere here, the main thread is um, holding uh, a lot. So what we're going to do is uh, use an isolate. So first, this function was not original like this. The function had multiple, multiple parameters, but uh, for an isolate and especially the compute function to create an isolate needs, needs a single argument. So what we do is create a class, an object class that has our parameters. We're going to give that to the compute function so we can have uh, multiple arguments. In this example, we're going to give it the external path, the file path, that is the image that we selected, and the settings for that sticker, so the server knows what to do. Coming back to here, the execute make a sticker button. Uh, this function is executed here, and this in well, this in well is the one we see here, the make sticker executes the function or null when the loading is true. That means that we can't uh, make multiple isolate and that's a big no-no because it's going to crash the application if we make multiple ones and all of them try to send back and forth information. So I already have this uh, working with the compute so we can basically uh, see how this was working. I'm going to comment this and delete this. Okay, so let's see what we're going to have here. So the compute function, first we're going to give it two types. The first First type is going to be the input type of our function, and the second type is going to be the return uh, type of our function. Then we're going to give it the function uh, that we want the compute isolate to run and the input of the function. In this case, we create um, an object that is the type of sticker request input that we saw that we saw here, and we needed to give uh, in this order: so the file path, the, the external path, and the settings of that particular instance, and we give it that here. Then, as the compute function is a feature of the type of the return, in this case, byte list, the image that we're going to return, we can use the dot then to receive the data and execute the set state to rebuild the widget and uh, this display the image that we returned. First, we check if the value is not null, and if it's not, we set the image bytes to the value. Uh, this updates the state for the image bytes and displays the image. Let's see how this is done. So here, if the image byte is null, we're going to show the first, the original image. And if it's not, we're going to show the image with the memory image uh, function here and the image which then we're going to set the loading to false and going to save the image because actually the request sticker doesn't save the image but it returns the image in a byte form. I do I do this this way because I don't know why the save image doesn't work inside the isolate but the, it does outside the isolate and it doesn't junk the UI thread as much. So I'm doing that outside the isolate. This is basically uh, we get the path to save the image. We use here uh, write as byte with that uh, path, we also use the image uh, package to encode and decode the image. And lastly, and lastly, one, one really important thing is the gallery saver package that actually sort of shows the image in the gallery. If you don't do this, the image doesn't show in the gallery of the Android. It's really a problem because you can't find it. Well, now with the isolate, we can click the uh, button sticker, go to some settings here, go to select the one we want, make the sticker. And as you can see, the UI doesn't junk. And also, I don't know if you can see at the call stack here, we can see the main and a new one that is the isolate. And we have our sticker. Awesome. That's really it uh, for the compute and the isolate. Uh, with this uh, sort of solved, I also update the uh, gallery. You can the gallery now delete and share and can do this in the emulator, but you can. Well, I can delete. Yes, you can delete the image in the gallery. I need to work on the, all of these stickers now. So yeah, I think that is going to be it for this video. Um, going to work on the other stickers and get back and next video we're going to do new ones. Uh, but yeah, I think with the things that we do today uh, is enough. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.